Imagine this. You have fun creating a mock-up of your artwork on a lazy Sunday. The next weekend, a client purchases your design to use on one of their most popular product lines. And a month later, you get a check in the mail for the art you created. What if this were possible? What if you could create mock-ups of your artwork that could translate into best sellers? Luckily, by joining this class, you'll learn how to create best-selling product mock-ups in a simple, step-by-step -step way. Hey there, my name is Kat Cocolette, and I'm back for my 10th Skillshare class. It's all about how you can turn your existing artwork, patterns, or photographs into professional product mockups to showcase your work. As a bonus for enrolling in this class, I'm teaming up with Createsy to provide you with 10 totally free files for you to download and use throughout all of our lessons. These mock-up files come with a price tag of $155, but Createsy is giving you 10 completely free files when you enroll in today's class. So here's how it works. You'll use your existing artwork and with a few clicks, revamp it to see how it looks on actual products. You can drop in any type of artwork, whether it's a painting, pen and ink line work, charcoal sketches, or your photography. I'll show you step-by-step -step how to put your artwork on product mock-ups for phone cases, tote bags, apparel, framed art, stationery cards, pillows, wallpaper, ceramic mugs, rolls of fabric, and gift bags. It sounds like a lot to cover, but it's actually gonna be pretty simple because we'll be using ready-made layered mock-up files. This cuts away a lot of the effort that typically goes into creating your own mock-up. A lot of classes out there show you how to build your own mock-ups out of flat photos, not ready-made mock-ups like we're using today. There is a lot of rendering and minute details that go into creating a convincing mock-up out of a flat photo like warping the edges, resizing and cropping artwork to specific dimensions, painting in shadows, masking out boundaries, weaving in subtle texture, adding highlights, and more. And the best part about ready-made mock-ups like we're using today, everything I just mentioned is already built into the file. We don't need to do it ourselves. So once you drop in your artwork, these actions will be automatically applied. All you need to do is drag and drop your artwork and Photoshop will take care of the rest. Frankly put, it's pretty much magic. I'm good at creating art, not so good at creating my own mockups. And I don't need to be good at that because there are so many options out there of ready-made mockups. So using these ready-made mockups is a huge time saver. You can swap designs in and out with ease so you can see what types of designs are working best for that product type. Plus, you can easily create a large variety of mockups with just a few clicks. No painstaking alterations every time you want to try out a new design. You can also see what the product will look like in real time. All you do is make an adjustment to the design, click save, and it gets applied to the product ASAP. So let me back up real quick. If this is your first time hearing the term mockup, no worries. Here's the breakdown. Mockups are digital representations of what your design will look like on a physical product. This makes it look like that product already exists. The higher quality the mock-up file, the more convincing this will be. And we are going to be using some of the best mock-ups available in the market today, thanks to my friends at Createsy. Check out the fine details when you zoom in. They are not joking around here. So to give you a deeper dive, we'll be using Photoshop to place our designs into product mock-up files. It's actually pretty simple. All of these actions, like I mentioned before, are automatically applied to each layered file. So we can just replace blank surfaces with our own designs. You can also modify things like background color, floor surfaces, wall textures, even small details like the inside of an envelope. So everything feels customized to your designs and your brand. So why are mockups important? I use mockups all the time. In fact, they're pretty crucial to my business as a surface designer and illustrator. I'm the founder of Cat Coke, and illustration and design brands. I'm an American, but I travel the world full-time while running my company. Today, I'm talking to you from my apartment in Chiang Mai, Thailand. In addition to selling my artwork through print-on-demand companies like Society6 and Redbubble, I also license my artwork to companies like Urban Outfitters, Target, Nordstrom, Bed Bath & Beyond, Home Goods, and more. These big brands turn my artwork into products similar to the ones we'll be using today. These are things like pillows, phone cases, wall art, apparel, fabric, and other home decor items. 
When a company like Urban Outfitters reaches out to me about licensing my artwork, I'll put together some product mockups so they can see exactly what my artwork will look like on the products that they sell in their stores. This erases any guesswork about what my artwork will look like on their products, which incentivizes brands to work with me. And in addition to showing brands how great my artwork can look like on products, I also like to show my audience. I share product mock-up photos on social media, my websites, in my portfolio, even on my Etsy shop, and in lookbooks to attract new clients. Essentially, mock-ups are a great way to showcase your artwork in a very professional light. Plus, it's just fun. As an artist, I get a huge kick out of seeing my artwork applied to merchandise. I've been doing this for about five years and it still doesn't get old. So here's how the class is structured today. This is a two for one class. Each lesson is divided into two parts. One, you get to create your own product mock-up out of the files I provide and show you how to use. And two, I share my strategy for creating top selling designs in each product category. For example, you might have a design that's not really working well at all on apparel, but it might have a lot of potential for mugs. And today I will be covering a lot of product categories. So throughout the class, I'll be sprinkling in my best secrets to succeed with art licensing. And as I've mentioned in a lot of my other classes, I'm a big believer in learning as you're doing. So this class will be jam packed with actionable steps. You'll literally be following me along for every step of the way. If you have a basic understanding of Photoshop, this class will be easier for you. Having at least some Photoshop experience will be useful, but again, this is a beginner level course, so it'll be really simple steps to make these product mockups. And if you don't have Photoshop, no problem. You can download a free trial with Adobe. I provided a link to score your free trial down in the class description below. Don't forget to follow me on Skillshare. Click the follow button and you'll be the first to know as soon as I launch a new course or have something new to share with my students. You can also follow me on Instagram at catcoke and every other form of social media with the same handle. All right, ready to dive in and turn your artwork into gorgeous, trendy mock-ups? Click enroll and let's get started. You can sign up for this class by clicking the link just down below in the description. If you're not yet a Skillshare member, no problem. That link will grant you a free trial of Skillshare, which means you can access this class and all my others on your free trial. Have fun learning. Cat Cocolette, over and out.